Hi guys. Hello, Seb. You enjoy the evening so far? Yeah, brilliant. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really Naturals, enjoying. evidently. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. So, tell me, Stalker. What is Stalker about? What's Stalker about? <laughs> stalker is about a man who is a stalker. He, um, right. <laughs> But he's, he's been a stalker for a long time, and he's starting to wonder whether there's more to life than just stalking. But he, he absolutely loves the act of stalking. Um, it's like an addiction to him. Um, and this is a story about him trying to give up stalking. So, so does this come from any kind of personal place, any experience? <laughs> no, I, I did actually do some serious research. Uh, right. into it and there are a couple of bits in the film certain places and hiding places that I was told by girls that men actually used to spy on them right um, some so yeah there's, there's a few of them I, I did research um, so how far did this research actually go it was just me <laughs> should we be contacting the police yet it was or? just me uh, I, I, in pubs going up Lurking. to women <laughs> saying excuse me can I talk to you about stalking have you ever been stalked and I was actually on a serious note surprised how many had Wow. But, uh, no, I, I didn't actually go undercover. Right, right. Okay, okay. Um, mm. So, um, Matt, hello. Hello. Hi, so you edited this feature. I edited it. Um, to be honest, I didn't even read the script. Right. I found out the story as I was editing it. Excellent. And um, what did you think so far? I liked it. It's was, it was, it's it's funny. It's my kind of humour. Um, it's just silly filmmaking. I have to say, um, the films so far have been very good, all very professional, and not, not to take anything away from Neil, in fact, to give it to Neil, he shot this on a little mini DV, no sound equipment, onboard mic, um, auto focus, auto white balance, one member of crew. The cameraman, that was And it, it, just, just, cameraman. it just proves what, what you can do if you want to make a film. Excellent. So, it actually just goes to show what you can do with such little equipment. No, with if no you want money, to make a film. No money. I, the budget was £45, which was all petrol. Fantastic. <laughs> OK. If you want to make a film, get out there and make a film. Lovely, lovely, excellent. So, um, Neil, yeah. um, so what are you actually working on now? What have you got in the pipeline? Uh, well, I'm, I'm just... I haven't thought about anything other than stalker for, uh, right. for the last few months. So it's um, had quite an impact on your life. Yeah, then. this is it's the first time, apart from, apart from the three of us and the cameraman, this is the first time anyone's going to see it, which wow. is why I'm an absolute bundle of nerves. <laughs> I've had films shown before and people have seen them, you know, and I, I've kind of seen reactions, but I've never seen anyone. No, no one's watched this. This is the first time. Exclusive, so. ladies and gentlemen. Exclusive. Yet another. Exclusive. Um, it's exclusive. It's exclusive. And, um, yeah, oh, well, once this exclusive's out of the way, I will start looking. I've got a, a pile of about six scripts, and I will start looking at which one to go for next. Excellent, excellent. So did anything actually happen whilst you were shooting? Any, anything that was quite memorable? Any, any little stories? Any odd looks from passers-by? Anything like that? that yeah, there were happens? some odd looks from passers-by um, for some of, the, some of the more elaborate stalking places that you'll see. Um, there's a, uh, there's a fight scene which I think is just a work of absolute art. <laughs> From Matt's point of view, the, the, Matt's also, not only did he edit it, he also did the entire original score. And the score for the fight scene and everything is just brilliant. And you can't tell at all that every single person involved in the fight scene was completely hungover that morning. <laughs> it was Sunday morning and we, it, was, it was awful. But you, you, you can't tell and I put that down to Matt's editing. Excellent. Now, Matt... In your opinion now, from what you've seen so far, both from film festivals in the past and what you've seen tonight, what, are, what do you think of actually what you've seen? Do you think that, as a lot of people have actually said, do you think that Basingstoke or the surrounding areas could actually become a new independent centre for independent film? I don't, I don't see why not. I think it doesn't really matter where you are. If you want to make a film, you've got the drive, you've got the passion to do it, just go and do it. It doesn't, you know, it could be anywhere. But with things like this, where you've got something to aim for, it does definitely help. It gives you a deadline. Like, since the last one, it's good to see that a lot of the same people have done it again. And, you know, you, you give them a deadline and they'll make something for it. That's kind of what we were working mm. towards. Yeah. Even though we finished it yeah. last night. Yeah, we did finish it last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, would you like to take your seats whilst we... Thank you, Thank you. Go on the screen.